gender-based violence is not a footnote. It's not a side issue. If we want to understand sectarian conflict, if we want to understand ethnic conflict, we have to understand it with a gendered lens. The control of women's bodies, their uh, mobility, sexuality, is a key strategy for um, many state and non-state actors who try to demarcate boundaries um, between us versus them. Um, and the most recent version and the most extreme one is, of course, the way that um, <clears throat> the so-called Islamic State, Daesh, has treated Azidi women. Uh, but I have to say that while many people were talking about this, I mean, since 2003, we have seen many, many instances of horrible gender-based violence unfolding in Iraq. But it's not only Islamist, whether Sunni or Shia groups who are engaging in this form of violence, but also secular political groups and militants. So we see it, for example, happening in, in Syria and the Syrian regime's use of sexual violence. And I would also like to stress that when I speak about gender-based violence, yes, I mean, mainly we are, um, we are looking at uh, violence against women with men being perpetrators, but actually gender-based violence also affects men. It affects men who, by virtue of their politics, their ethnicity, their religion, but often also their sexuality, do not fit the ideal man. The second point that our working group uh, wants to stress is the important link between the militarization of societies and the increases in gender-based violence. Now, this has been actually illustrated in many different contexts across the globe, historically, cross-culturally. It's not something unique to the Middle East. But we know that when uh, the more militarized societies are, the more normalized the idea of the militarized male, the more instances of gender-based violence. Um, so our report shows that whether in um, relation to Iraq, my own work, and colleagues who have worked in Yemen, Libya, Palestine, and Turkey, we have seen this relationship unfold. We want to stress that we need to analytically separate between different forms of this gender-based of vi gender violence. It could, could be private forms happening at homes. It could be more systematic forms of gender-based violence by state and non-state actors. And thirdly, we would um, point out that there are these allegedly doctrinally justified forms of violence, as we've seen with the Taliban in Afghanistan and more recently with Daesh in Iraq and Syria. However, I also have to say that myself and other colleagues are currently challenged in terms of this theory, this link between militarization and gender-based violence. When we see what's happening unfolding in northern Syria, in Rojava, with the Kurdish women's movement, I mean, I'm personally um, a bit dismayed with the way that Kur Kurdish female fighters are being fetishized in the Western media. But the fact is that here you have a political movement where women are involved in armed conflict. They're the ones who are fighting Daesh. And a movement that puts gender-based equality and gender-based justice at its center. Very different from previous revolutions, whether in Eritrea, in Vietnam, in Algeria or Palestine, where women were told, let's first liberate society and then your freedom will come later. This is not happening in the Kurdish context, but I think here one of the problems is that for this equality to take place, women have to become asexual militants. So they have to, um, and men actually as well, they have, they're supposed to be asexual. Um, so linked to this idea that there is a relationship um, in terms of the militarization of society, we very much stress the idea of what we call the continuum of violence. So the continuum of violence uh, basically states that there is a strong link between what's happening in the battlefield, what's happening in the situation of acute conflict, what happens on the street, and what happens at home, in the workplace, and so on. But also, the idea of the continuum of violence links to temporality, the idea that Peace for women does not necessarily mean the cessation of armed conflict. There's violence that happens prior to acute conflict, violence that happens during and after conflict. So what does peace actually mean for women? In terms of theorizing, I mean, Michelle mentioned that theorizing is important. Find that often the narratives about gender-based violence fall into these two extremes. On the one hand, you have this, and I think that's very uh, acute in the Western media, this culturalization. So it's because of their culture. It's because of their religion. 
uh, you know, it's because of Islam and often there's a conflation. This is, of course, a very um, problematic narrative and many of us have been challenging this um, very ahistorical and essentialist um, narrative. But I find that there's another also very um, dangerous narrative, and I find that's particularly amongst uh, sort of post-colonial scholars based in the U.S., but also else, elsewhere in the Western world, which is to explain everything by reference to colonialism and imperialism. And I think that is uh, particularly the case, of course, in the context where we are all who are based in, in uh, Western context, we are struggling with racism and Islamophobia. But you cannot explain away any, any more what is happening in Iraq merely by reference to the invasion and the occupation. Yes, of course, invasion and occupation shaped everything that's been, uh, that's been unfolding, but there are local, national, regional actors who not only have been complicit, but have been shaping local political and economic realities as well. Finally, in terms of understanding violence, in our report, we make it clear, and that links also what um, both Mohammed and Farad have been saying is that we cannot look at the Middle East and North Africa in terms of geographical bounded entity. We have to look at it in transnational terms, what's happening in Europe, in the US, uh, in terms of migration, in terms of political mobilization, it's happening in a transnational sphere.